Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to do a quick uh, update video on Comet Atlas. So it looks like it has been confirmed that the comet has indeed started to disintegrate. Uh, so I've got Stellarium open right now, and you can see where Comet Atlas currently is. It's between the constellations of the Camel and the Lynx, just cruising along. Um, the current magnitude that I'm showing in Stellarium right now is 6.9. I believe that is incorrect. It's closer to uh, magnitude 8 or 9. So the comet has done pretty much a complete 180. It's decreasing in brightness and getting harder to see. Uh, so if you go over to the Earth Sky website, uh, which basically um, has editorials on astronomy related events and news, I highly recommend taking a look at Earth Sky if, if you're not uh, currently checking the website out. Uh, they put out an article uh, last week showing that the comet was starting to show some signs of disintegration especially with the nucleus right here starting to distend. You can see on this image, it's kind of condensed into one single point. And then on this one, uh, you can see that it's starting to kind of elongate a little bit. So when that happens, it's usually a sign that the nucleus of the comet is starting to break apart. And then yesterday, we had a article come out that pretty much confirmed this. So Jean-Luca Massey, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad, uh, from the Virtual Telescope um, Project, took an image of the comet, and we can clearly see in this image that the uh, nucleus has indeed started to break up. You can see here that there's probably about four, four to five uh, comet fragments. That was once the uh, whole nucleus of the comet. It's now just started to disintegrate. So that pretty much means that um, the comet is on its deathbed now. We're probably not going to see the spectacular event that was forecasted to happen next month. Uh, some estimates are putting this comet down into the negative magnitudes around negative one. That would have been very bright. Uh, but unfortunately, it seems like that is probably most likely not going to happen now. So Comet is definitely dying. Um, it's an interesting target if you want to go out and image it. You could see the, the Comet and all the fragments kind of breaking apart. Um, I don't know how well it's going to be, uh, you know, be able to see it visually. Probably not very well now because it's decreasing in brightness. But it looks like this is probably it for Atlas. Um, there is another Comet that they just discovered recently. I think yesterday they found out about it. Uh, I believe the name of that comet is C2020 F8 Swan, I believe. Um, that one is also forecasted to get kind of bright. I want to say down to around 3.5 magnitude is what I read. But that's going to be more of a player for folks living down in the southern hemisphere. Um, us guys up north are probably going to be waiting again for another bright comet. Well, that's pretty much it. So Atlas falling apart and probably no spectacular show happening next month. Well, hopefully this video finds you all well. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one.